Hey y'all, welcome back to your Apple update. And on this episode, I'm going to kind of maybe rant a little bit about what may be coming as far as Apple TV Plus pricing. Um, we don't know what Apple's going to charge for Apple TV Plus. We don't know if Apple's going to charge for Apple TV Plus. But sometime later this fall, they're going to debut their new streaming service. Um, and we know a lot about it as far as what content is going to be on it. Apple had an event back in March, which is actually streaming on the TV over my shoulder there, where they announced the service and brought up a bunch of content creators uh, from big stars to big uh, content creators that you know of um, and announced several of these shows. Uh, some of them look very interesting to me. Some of them don't look interesting to me at all. They're clearly trying to go for a diverse range of different types of shows that are going to have on their service. Um, but one of the things we don't know is exactly when it's going to launch beyond fall and what, if anything, it's going to cost. Um, but there was a report um, a couple weeks ago. I was on vacation, but I've been wanting to make a video and talk about this. Um, from Bloomberg who said that Apple is considering charging $9.99 per month for this service and I gotta tell you I think that's a ridiculous amount of money to charge for what you're getting for the service um, so you know we all you know, probably most of you watching this have a Netflix subscription and uh, you know Netflix was one of the big early pioneers in this service and lots of other people have been trying to play catch up Disney's got their own streaming service launching in November um, you know you've got Hulu and HBO Go and the new HBO Max and even CBS has their own streaming service CBS people um, so everybody's trying to get in on this game and so is Apple um, but $9.99 seems like a ridiculous amount uh, to charge for this so just as a background on this service what we know so far Apple is not going to bring a back catalog of material to the table you know that's one of the big uh, selling points of Disney Plus which is launching in November which I plan to sign up for on day one which is that they're going to have a lot of new stuff created for this service, but they're also going to have all their back catalogs. They've released a lot of their back catalog stuff, and of course Disney has one of the most beloved and widely respected back catalogs of any studio out there. And so for $6.99 per month, because they've already announced the pricing, you're going to have access to all these new shows in, in the Star Wars and Marvel universes, um, plus all this back catalog stuff of movies and TV shows from their decades of production available for you to watch in the service starting at just not even just starting there is no other tier at $6.99 per month but they did announce a bundle with, with uh, Hulu and ESPN but as far as Disney Plus itself it's just one thing um, Netflix uh, ranges in prices depending on whether you want 4k or not and how many different uh, streams you want to have going at the same time that sort of thing but um, you know for $9.99 a month um, you're getting access to again a whole bunch of original shows from Netflix plus back catalogs of stuff that isn't theirs but that they've partnered with other uh, studios to have on the Netflix service so TV shows that you watch you know my wife loves the West Wing and she's watched that at least twice all the way through on Netflix so you know whereas Apple TV plus at least what we know so far maybe there'll be information announced even next week at the iPhone event we don't know but right now uh, there's no plans for any back catalog of, of stuff to watch that you're going to know and you know there's not going to be you know all of Seinfeld for example on Apple TV Plus to maybe draw you in to watch it's just going to be these new shows and Apple's pitch with Apple TV Plus seems to be that we're going to make um, you know we're going to partner with the top content creators and actors and actresses that you know of to bring really really great stuff um, which is great except that's also kind of the pitch that Netflix and all these other streaming services are also going with. They've also partnered with top creators and, and people in the industry that you're familiar with. So, um, you know, $9.99 for that doesn't seem like a good value proposition. Now, I cover Apple, so there's, I mean, most likely I'm going to have the service. And there's some stuff that I'm genuinely looking forward to that they've announced. I'm really looking forward to, for all mankind, the sort of alternate timeline, you know, Space Rays 1960s show from Ronald D. Moore that Apple announced and has shown a trailer for. That looks genuinely interesting. I can't wait to see that show. But a lot of the rest of it that they've announced so far just doesn't seem interesting to me. You know, you know they're certainly going to hope to get as many people watching this as possible. But I just don't see the $9.99 value proposition. If they do it for $4.99, I don't really have a problem with this. That seems like a, you know, that's a cup of coffee at Starbucks. So that that makes a whole lot of sense but again you know given that there's so many different streaming services to choose from and I think a lot of people are getting kind of streaming service itis you know there's only so many of these things that you're gonna be willing to pay for per month before it feels like you've got to find something to cut um, quite honestly I am most likely gonna drop Netflix this fall and adopt the the Apple uh, excuse me the um, Disney Hulu ESPN plus streaming service plus maybe this Apple service 
um, be, you know, because you got to prioritize what, what, how much you're willing to spend on your monthly entertainment budget, and there are limits to that. So nine ninety nine for Apple TV Plus just seems like a ridiculous amount. Um, I, I, you know, I could see them giving it away for free uh, because they don't have a whole lot of content right out the gate, and maybe they'll use it as a way to promote other services and other Apple products. I could maybe see that, but but again, given Apple's big push with services, it does seem like they're going to want to monetize this somehow. So, uh, I, although I think it's possible they would give it away for free, I have difficulty with that. So, my recommendation, Apple, for what it's worth, four ninety nine seems like the sweet spot, and give me some kind of Apple bundle. You know, let me get um, Apple Music, uh, Apple TV Plus, Apple Arcade, Apple News Plus, maybe in some kind of bundle where I can get all this for you know, 20 bucks, you know, and that would be, uh, you know, that would start to seem like a bargain. We did see a report that it looks like Apple Arcade itself might cost $4.99, so, you know, maybe that's some indication that despite this Bloomberg report about Apple TV Plus maybe being $9.99 per month, that maybe, maybe they'll go with $4.99 for that too. So, you know, this is a little rant on my part, you know, but based on no information, we might find out next week that, that you know, $9.99 plus, $9.99 price is right on or that it's completely off base. So I hope that we find out soon. But that's, that's kind of my thoughts. But what about you? What are you willing to pay for Apple TV Plus? Are you willing to pay anything for Apple TV Plus? Drop me a comment and let me know. This has been John Sherrod for your Apple Update. I'll see you next time.